Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Soma. We are in the middle of this switch flipping puzzle. This is uh, the state that the puzzle was in when we left off last time, picking right up where we left off. Oh, some of the some of the pathways are blown out. That's not something I expected. Ah, that's not gonna do it. So what I think is going on here is each switch seems to be turning a light on. Uh, each light drains the power on the left a little bit. You can see it going down one bar at a time every time I flip a switch. And I have to redirect uh, the energy from the top left to, I'm assuming, the bottom right. That's the only pathway that makes sense to me because there's something actually there on the bottom right. But, yeah, yeah, it has to be. I'm not going to be able to do it like this. When it gets down to the red is when it resets. So you don't have that one extra bar once it gets down to the red. Okay. So I... That didn't do anything. Oh. Now. Like this. And then right, right, right. Yeah! Yeah! Wait, which... Oh, this terminal. Boober, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. You can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up! Holy Should shit. Be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom of Theta. That's how I'm doing it. The uh, I'm tapping into the black boxes, and because that guy doesn't have one, I can't get inside his head. Also, morphine for tinnitus? Can, it, can tinnitus actually get that bad? That's scary as hell. Because I, I did some damage to my hearing when I was younger going to shows a lot, and I have it real, real minor-like, but there holy shit. The have a look around the room. Um, there was the note I found upstairs referencing Herb. But I don't remember any numbers on that. Oh, there was a totally separate console here. Are you hearing that glitched noise? Yeah, what is that? Crew status. I guess this is uh that's the status of everyone's black boxes. Okay, so there's a lot here. Uh update enables black boxes. Uh fail safe Carthage implemented. Standard extension. Okay, this doesn't appear to really be substantive. Diagnostic tool. That can't be the code, right? WAU X77. 78 underscore WOW X77. Uh, no, that can't be it. It has to be numeric. Stuff needed to make the crane work again. All up to Alan now. Unnecessary security update for the paranoid lab rats. Dead people don't bite. Shit. I don't know, it's not that unreasonable to be paranoid in this environment. Assaulted. Assault what? Yeah. How do I get the feeling zero, 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 nine, zero. into the back of a van? What are you talking about? Ah, I'm with Simon. That That seems too easy. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't actually I hope I remember this right, zero zero nine zero? I wasn't paying that much attention, oddly enough, even though I've was all over the screen. Okay. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Great. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. Does Simon feel pain? He is. He seems to have all of his other senses pretty much intact. Does he feel pain? Hmm. Uh, so I have to 
I have to shut this off so I can... Oh, the pressure pump is the only thing I have to hit, I think. No? Oh, I can swipe this now. I wasn't able to do that before, so this is how I drain the water, I guess. Because Simon, he still has a really intense sense of, of self. So I guess... Just like any other person, he has that, that, that fear of dying, even though he's functionally immortal as is. He's just a, a conscious mind in a, a dead person's body inside of a diving suit. But he still has that really intense sense of self, so, like, even though he's technically not human and he doesn't have mortality, he still has fears over mortality. Catherine doesn't have that, though. She's a good foil for Simon right now. Because Simon's like, we're being lured into a trap. But she doesn't really seem to care because she knows there are no, like, physical consequences for that. If they're trapped, then, oh well. Huh. Omicron Annex Shuttle Tunnel. And all the way at the bottom of the abyss. Not really much usable information there. Mechanical malfunction. Use other entrance. So we did all that work. Lifting the lockdown. And we can't even go in the front door. That's fine. So, the only other way in, it has to be down this dilapidated bridge. Ah, what is with this effect? This better be the right way. Oh, God. Ah! Knowing that I'm, I'm... Oh, yeah. Right over, like, a, a 4,000 meter deep abyss. A giant ocean trench. Not feeling comfortable with this. That it, just the thought of that alone is making me uneasy. And the the glitchy effect, like there's there's something nearby. Okay, cool. So there was still a point to lifting the lockdown because we can get in this way now. Gotta drain the water out every time. At least it's internally consistent. That's probably the most important thing. Ugh. Let's find that suit and get out. Anytime it's not saving, it's perfectly fine. The performance is great. It's just when it saves. Ugh. So bad. The music in Soma has been pretty subdued for the most part. Holy shit! Holy shit. So I'm no longer able to data mine because... Oh, wow. Something just... him too. Or her too. Yeah, same thing. No black box because no head. Something has literally been exploding their heads off. Like, there are no heads to be seen, just mushy viscera. They haven't just been decapitated. They've, like, their heads have exploded. Makes me think that something ripped their diving helmets off while they were outside and then dragged the bodies in here because how else like grapes like is there a monster around o Omicron going around crushing heads alright 
we have the dive room over here and containment and uh, they really let you know what you're in for like right off the bat in Omicron oh this doesn't feel good and even though the lock down is what is that okay it's just silhouettes even though the lockdown is lifted a bunch of these rooms are still inaccessible man I'm not liking this I'm not liking this at all what oh what the fuck was that all about and it's gone it told me I need to stop it it being the WAU lab always make sure you wear your lab coat and your goggles <sighs> the dive room is what I want to get to so anything that brings me closer to that because that's where it was saying that I left the rest of the lockdown from medical bay Oh, this can't go wrong? No, the, the hospital area in a horror movie or a horror game, never, never, ever scary. I gotta say, I wasn't actually expecting a hospital level in Soma. It's a pleasant surprise. It's a really uncomfortable Hence, pleasant surprise, but pleasant nonetheless. Nothing has happened yet, but this is the most threatened I've felt so far. Without even seeing a monster or anything, just the way this whole place is lit is, is kind of freaking me out. Uh, but we're here now. So, let's see what we can do. I don't like this music. I was saying before, it's been really subdued so far. Oh, this note. We've seen this before. Uh, it's been really subdued so far, but whenever it does ramp up, it instantly makes my shoulders tense. No, I thought for a second he just wasn't going to turn this on. Power suits tested and ready. Omicron standing by for pickup in two days. When was this from? Because that's their to-do list. I can barely see anything. It's really uncomfortable. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Yeah, Simon is just now getting used to, to his new body, I guess you could call it. And Catherine's asking him to switch again. Hmm. Although, to be fair, like, every time we've seen one of these diving suits that he's wearing... Oh, it's a pilot seat! Uh, one of these diving suits that he is wearing... It doesn't look that bulky in power suit, like a power suit that can withstand the pressure of a, a, a deep ocean trench. Simon, oh no, that's not as big as I thought. Lockers. 
I was gonna say, like, shouldn't that be huge? Like, that should be able to accommodate. Oh! God. Nice. God damn! I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can boot it up. A terminal nearby? Oh, she means behind me. Though it would be like in the locker itself. Okay, so. A high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 Celsius to negative 75. Depth of 5,000 meters. Suits easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings. Can we mine this for any useful information? Eh. Said that the suit should accept anyone. Uh, it has an onboard computer monitoring pulse and all that stuff. Uh, there's a there's a um, a deep ocean horror game Don't waste time, Simon. coming out next year or the year after next called Narcosis, and there's a gimmick to it where you can purchase some. Uh, some special equipment to monitor your exactly vitals, and I believe the game is supposed to. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Alright, so we're off on a fetch quest. Um, I'm glad that she cut me off because I realized that I had the wrong idea. Uh, Narcosis is a deep water horror game. It, you play uh, first person and it's you're inside this huge bulky diving suit. And it's a, a VR game that's coming out, I think, next year or the year after. Uh, the game that I was thinking of that monitors your vitals and adapts the difficulty and the, the tension of the game based around, like, your heart rate and stuff like that is, uh, what's it called? Never mind. It's a different horror game. So, storage seems like a pretty good place to start. Unless there is nothing in here at all. No, this looks more like a closet that you'd come in to hide. Especially if none of these drawers open up. Am I completely locked out of all of them? Yeah, that's making me think this is a hiding spot. What's going on with the lights? I'm seeing a little bit of flickering. The lighting coming up through the grating in the floor is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in the game so far. It's very, very nice looking. Very ominous, though. Okay, I'm not entirely sure of where I am supposed to be go- uh, Okay. I'm gonna take a quick break. And, uh, we will return and finish up Omicron. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.